Hey. 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 How's it hey. going? Um, good. You're in my face, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Let's get uh, some of this. Yeah. Big unveil. <laughs> yeah, so this is the world's first hidden flush seamless end portal. Well, it's not actually seamless. There's redstone in the corner here, but we don't care. Um, <laughs> so It's seamless when you have the floor, yeah. Yep. But anyway, uh, it's been <laughs> wondered for a long time by maybe a few people. Um, if it's possible to open and close your nether portal, if it's possible to open and close your end portal. And we kind of got to work on this. Armour already had a layout for it. Yeah, and uh, and three three days later, and a lot of tea later, yeah, we, lots we, of tea. we managed to make it. And so um, <laughs> this is this, as you can tell by the size of this, which um, it's a lot more difficult to make a hidden end portal than another portal because whereas you can turn on and off your end uh, your another portal with your end portal, you can't turn it on and off. You just have to. So if you when we shut it here, you'll see we're moving the blocks over the top of the portal instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a nether portal you can destroy the portal blocks with water and then relight it with a flint and steel. With this, you have to, if you were to break the end portal blocks, you would have to somehow break your end portal frames. And Which you can't do. Them. Yeah. Um, okay. So, speaking of the size, this thing is 15 blocks by 7 blocks by 23 blocks, which totals um, 2,415 blocks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pretty large. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, um, that's about it from us. So yeah. Um, Bye. See you later. <laughs>